multiplying whole numbers and fractions. We'll learn several, several different models for how to do this. And today we're starting with the repeated addition model. This is something that is probably familiar to you because when you're first learning to multiply, this is what you did to figure out how much it would be. When you were learning 2 times 4, you learned that that was the same thing as having two groups of 4. So you draw your two groups, you fill them with 4 each, add them together, and find that that was 8. So 2 times 4 was 8. We can do the same model, just with different numbers. And so here I have our problem, 3 times 1 fourth, which can be read as 3 groups of 1 fourth. So I started by drawing my 3 groups, and now inside the 3 groups I need to show 1 fourth. To do this, I'm going to draw a fraction model. Oh, I'm just going to do a square. And I'm going to cut it in half and then in half again. I'd like to all have vertical columns because as we continue to learn our models, we'll do columns and then some rows, so no windows for fourths, okay? So I'm going to do the next one, cut it into fourths, square, cut it in half and half again. And then the, the, the fraction was one-fourth, so out of these four pieces in each of them, I need to shade or color in one-fourth in each one. So there's another one-fourth and another one-fourth. And then just like before, you add those together. So I'd have one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth is equal to three-fourths. So three times one-fourth is equal to three-fourths. I repeatedly drew the same thing and then I added them together. Repeated addition model. Same thing, but in a word problem. Andrew wants to give each of his four friends two-fifths of a pizza. How much pizza will he give away? Well, the problem that I would need to solve would be four times two-fifths, because four friends were getting two-fifths, and so we'd give two-fifths, 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 two-fifths. This is the same as four groups of two-fifths. So I'm going to draw my model. This time I need four groups. So one, two, three, four, and inside I need to show two-fifths. So I'm going to stick with my square or rectangle, and this time I need to cut it into fifths. Now, fractions are supposed to be equal size pieces. However, you and I aren't perfect, and our parts won't be perfect. We're just going to do the best we can. So there's one of fifths. Here comes the next. That's fifths. See, that one's a little bit smaller. It'll be all right. Okay, so now I have four groups. I've cut the model into fifths, and how much were they getting? Two fifths each. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to color it in two fifths. So this one is two fifths plus two fifths for this friend plus two fifths for this friend. plus two-fifths for this friend. So I have two-fifths plus two-fifths plus two-fifths plus two-fifths. When we add fractions, we've done this before, we add the numerator, so two, four, six, eight. This is going to equal eight. Remember that the denominator stays the same when we add fractions. We do not add that part. So it's going to be eight-fifths, which is an improper fraction, so this definitely needs to be simplified. I know that 8 can be divided by 5 one time. That would leave me 3 left over for 3 fifths. Now that division that I did in my head, we've done this before, but what I just did was 8 divided by 5. 5 goes into 8 one time, and that would have been remainder 3. Remember, the remainder is the numerator, and again, the denominator stays the same. I would like for you to draw a repeated addition model to solve each of these problems in your math journal.